ஹலோ அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு தி தேர்ட் எபிசோட் இன் அவர் சீரீஸ் ஆன் பைபோலார் டிசார்டர் In the previous episodes, we understood the definition of bipolar disorder, its classification, lifetime risk, prevalence, symptoms and diagnosis. In this episode, we focus on the causes of bipolar disorder. Come, let us meet our expert. Bipolar disorder causes are under a lot of research. so all of the uh, most of the scientists agree that there is no single cause for bipolar disorder and it is an amalgamation of multiple factors that leads to bipolar so there are uh, several uh, researchers uh, who are working mainly on genetic factors on uh, biological markers that like inflammatory markers and a lot of uh, neurobiology mainly that is the brain structure and functioning related research is happening just like other medical disorders like diabetes and hypertension psychiatrists agree that it is a multifactorial disorder and cannot identify a single factor which causes bipolar disorder various psychotropics or psychiatric medications have proven to be helpful in treating bipolar disorders and these psychiatric medications help through their action on the neurotransmitters or messenger chemicals what we call as these neurotransmitters are chemicals like serotonin norepinephrine or dopamine which help in the signaling of our brain which have an impact on our mood on our day to day functioning yes bipolar disorder research has been uh, focusing now on uh, the functioning and the structure of the brain of these patients the evolvement in science has led to uh, several other neuroimaging techniques like functional mris and pet positron emission uh, tomography these kind of imaging studies have shown us there is that you know uh, we can study the functioning of a living brain as it works and certain tracts and certain areas like the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex the limbic system have shown changes signaling changes and structural and functional changes in these bipolar patients when compared to healthy people Yes bipolar disorder is a hereditary disorder and several genes candidate genes have been identified uh, to be a, a cause of uh, bipolar disorder now genes are materials which are present in each of our cells which are required uh, for our growth the cell functioning and everything and they are passed on from a generation to generation so uh, it has been noted through studies that people who have family members with bipolar disorder have seven fold increased chance of developing bipolar disorder when compared to the general population and when we look at the overall genetic studies we can say 75% of the bipolar disorder can be explained through genes or heredity stress in general has been identified through several studies to be an important factor which either precipitates or predisposes a person to mood disorders in general and bipolar disorder in particular stress can be of various types it could be either childhood trauma or adulthood events like unemployment uh, loss of a spouse or uh, you know break of a marriage it could be acute stress versus chronic stress it can also be positive events or negative events Uh, so uh, there are several of these factors associated with somebody who has a genetic or a biological vulnerability that can lead to bipolar disorder the most common uh, you know uh, the model that we explain is a stress vulnerability model which will help us to put in the biological the psychological and the social factors together for the cause of bipolar disorder and also the treatment of bipolar disorder childhood stress or childhood trauma is definitely a very important psychological social factor which leads to precipitating and predisposing of bipolar disorder 
to state a couple of examples, so there is this 18 year old young lady who has a family history of bipolar disorder. She has a very driven personality, a very high achieving student and during her 12th boards she starts doing night outs to prepare for her exams. After a couple of weeks she is brought to us with a manic episode. So there is another example which I would want to state, a 21 year old young uh, person who has a history, childhood history of parental separation and then he goes into drug use in his teenage years, has an academic failure because of his bad peer uh, uh, influence and he has brought to us with a history of depression. Now these are two uh, examples which emphasize the importance of uh, the, uh, what childhood plays or childhood trauma or childhood events play on the predisposition or precipitating of bipolar disorder that is manic or depressive episodes. This concludes the third episode in our series on bipolar disorder. In this episode we dealt with the various neurochemical, structural, functional, genetic and psychological factors that could potentially contribute to the occurrence of bipolar disorder. We will be back with our next episode. Namaste.